In this video, we're going to go over how to create a watch voice thread assignment. You go through the same process of creating the link, and then again, in the graded version, you have to click edit before you actually set it up. So I'm showing you this portion of it because I do change some settings compared to what I would do if I was creating a discussion style graded. I tend to have fewer points associated with anything that it's a watch voice thread because basically this type of assignment is a way to make sure that they are actually consuming the media. Maybe it's a lesson that I had or a lecture or some sort of thing I wanted them to look at or listen to or, or view. And so as a result, that's usually more low stakes points. And so I don't tend to have as many. And then I like to give this a different icon. I tend to pick homework for this, but you could pick assignment or create your own category. It's up to you. So we'll go ahead and click save. And then when we click this, it will open that assignment builder like it did for other styles. If you want to watch those videos, you'll see the different options that we have. Click assignment builder and then other videos go over how to submit a comment version or how to create a, a voice thread. We're going to actually do watch a voice thread for this one. And so when we click on that, we have to either create one just like any other time or we need to choose one. I have shown you how to create a, a new voice thread in other videos, so I'm just going to go ahead and click another Einstein version of it. I like to allow students to resubmit assignments at, at any stage. Again, you can make a decision there. I would leave definitely and share in the class. You can add a description. You can edit. You can do lots of things, but most of the time you're just going ahead and clicking creating. Oops, sorry. They actually have to have comments and I forgot about that. So we'll go ahead and use the how to use voice thread. That's a good point though. You can edit to add a comment, but you can't create a, a watch voice thread assignment without having some sort of comment within the thread. So we'll go ahead and just create it based on the one I've been using and adding lots of comments too. Okay, so it's created and we can go over to the student view to see what that looks like now. So it's in our example module and you see the homework has its own little icons. One of the reasons I like the homework is it's, at least in this version of Ultra, very different than a page. Once they click on it, again, they have the launch button that they have to use. And basically, in order to be able to submit this, they have to listen to all of the comments that are on here. Because if I click submit now, it's going to say you have not finished watching this voice thread. And if there's multiple items on there, they have to view them all. Or it's it will just not allow them to submit. You may notice that this can cause some what seem like technical issues for a student when they say, well, I've, I've viewed it all and it's not letting me submit. So kind of approach this version of a voice thread assignment with caution for that reason. Uh, it can be really helpful, but you have to watch how it's set up and keep in mind that you may have more student questions as a result. The grading view on this for the instructor side, you can access just by clicking the link within anywhere in the module that it's at. Or if you go to the grade book, you'll see this voice thread watch assignment is here now. And when I click on it, it takes me to the grading within voice thread. And I can see those students who have not submitted yet. And a great feature here is that I can remind them if I wanted to, or I can remind them individually here. So that can be helpful. And then if you do have some, you can go ahead and click on it to grade them. But right now there's there's none to display because as, as I showed you in that student view, they were still kind of stuck because they hadn't viewed all of the options. This is something that can be helpful if you want to make sure that they have watched a video or listened to you all the way through and as associate you know, some kind of some low stakes points with it. 